Hi, everybody. We're on. Welcome, welcome to story time tonight. I know it's 7.04, so if you started at 7, um, something was happening with my phone. But it looks like we're live now. And just uh, waiting for our friends, and here they come. Welcome, welcome, everybody. I seen Sister Rita Versch's picture pop up there. Um, sometimes it's hard for me to see who's up there, so if you can just send me a little note. Hi, Jackie. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Here's all my friends coming on tonight. If you come on, please say hi. Hi, Shelly Peck. Um, I was having trouble with my phone, and then I went out and I came back in, and I realized that I forgot to hit go live. So I'm sorry. I was on time. I just um, got confused with some of the buttons. Sometimes they upgrade your phone, and you get end up getting all messed up. So anyway... I'm happy tonight to uh, be with all of you. So please come on and say hi. Hi, Sister Mancini. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Nate. Hi, Juliana. Hi, Maria. Nice to see you tonight. I really hope all of you had wonderful Christmases and enjoyed yourself. It's really, really nice to be together. And uh, what does that mean? It's age, Pastor. No, it's not age. Um, my phone was totally different tonight, and I think I might have started it maybe in my own Facebook, which nobody will find me there. But uh, hi, Pauline. How are you? Hi, Robbins. Hi, Alex. Alex is on. Yes. <laughs> nice to have you, Alex, tonight. It looks like the Wessons are on, too, so that means the girls are going to be coming on here pretty soon. So um, welcome, everyone. Hi, Irma. Hi, Jordan and Chance. How are you guys? I heard that you had Christmas broke out in your house. <laughs> There's nothing greater than kids opening Christmas presents. It's just the greatest, greatest thing ever. And it seems like everything in the store you just want to buy for them. True? Yeah. So welcome everyone tonight. I'll uh, tell you this again, but I was... Um... <laughs> yeah. Okay, there you go, Jackie. See, it's not age. It's, um, it's these phone systems. They are confusing. But um, I told you that I would try to... Um, get a time to show you my house decorated for Christmas. Um, I can't say it's spectacular, but I like it. I'm sure um, others could do a much better job. Something that I've always loved is Christmas decorations. So um, at the end of the broadcast, because I don't know how many kids would actually um, be excited about that, but if you want to hang around near the end... I'll um, take a walk upstairs and just um, give you a look at my home. Uh, there's something about white lights at night and the lights turned down and them shining that is just so peaceful and so calming. And so when I talk about my talking chairs, you'll know what I'm talking about, no pun intended. <laughs> So, for those of you that might be interested in that, hang around for a while, okay? And uh, that will be a lot of fun. So, uh, if you're on watching, just please say hi. Hi, Joan, are you still um, away or did you get home already? Hopefully, you're still down with your granddaughter because she's talking your ear off. I just know it. <laughs> I can't believe how big she got. Hi, Carol. I know it looks like I'm drinking coffee, but I'm not. I have this special drink that I absolutely love. And it's um, uh, chai tea, which I think is tea tea. But anyway, 
I put a little bit of cream in the bottom, heat it in the microwave, and then make the chai tea. And then we put a little bit of Cool Whip on it and cinnamon sugar. Oh, it's just off the charts. Don't have it very often, but once in a while. Oh, Joan, you're home now. I know your hubby's happy that you're home. I know he misses you and you're gone. Yep, I know he does. Well, it's great to uh, have all of you on tonight. I hope Levi and Owen is on because we're going to read their story tonight of a book that they gave me. But first of all, did you all have a wonderful Christmas? And I'm curious what your favorite gift was that you got this year. And um, what was your most favorite thing that you ate this year? That's a hard one for me because I think everything I ate was just really, really, really good. Um, one thing this year, um, I didn't, I didn't, um, didn't do a whole lot of the sweets. I did more of the cooking. Hey, Addo family, welcome. Hey, Wesson family, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Are you going to share with me what your most favorite Christmas gift was and what your favorite thing was that you cooked? Oh, I mean that you ate. You are right, Carol Barkasi. Uh, the boys dropped me off some of those sour cream cookies. They are off the charts delicious. I said to them, sour cream cookies, and Sean went, oh, yes, and he's right. That's what I keep saying. And in fact, just before I started broadcasting tonight, I actually um, snagged one of those cookies. Penny loves her new clothes. Oh, nice, Penny. Your mama and daddy dress you very, very nice. Hi, past. <laughs> yeah, hi, Pastor. Hi, Mavis. <laughs> Mike. Ooh, you got a remote control doggy? Those are so much fun. I bet it goes roof, 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 roof as it walks through the house. Yes, a remote control doggy. That is really nice. Nate loves his new train, Percy. Oh, Nate, you have always liked Thomas the Train and his friends, and you still do. That is nice. Oh, Michelle liked chocolate cream pie. Yum, yum, yum. That sounds good. My mother, she made a pear cheesecake, and that was delicious and sister marianne uh, smith brought us her famous pistachio cake and that was off the charts delicious um but i didn't eat a whole lot of sweets this year oh my goodness jordan you got an electric motorcycle wow you are amazing you're driving a motorcycle already Hokey smokes, I need to tell Brother Jerry to get me one of those and we can go riding down the street together. Yes, sir. Make sure you wear your helmet. All right, because we don't want you getting hurt just in case. All right, Owen and Levi, you are here. I'm going to read your story tonight. RC cars, yes, siree. That's what you said you wanted for Christmas, and now you're saying you got them. All right. Way to go. I bet you boys have been having a blast playing with your toys. Yeah, that is exciting. So what's some of your favorite food you had? Juliana loves her superhero mask and cape. I can believe that. In fact... I can see her going through the house like crazy. Yeah. Oh, Dale bought Penny a scooter that lights up. Wow. Way to go. You got, ooh, an electric hoverboard, said Alex, and light up skate sneakers. Whoa. Whoa, those are some amazing gifts. Yes. Wow. 
I've often thought that I would like to have one of those hoverboards. Yeah, I just thought maybe. Hey, Friella, how are you? All the way from Peru. So nice to have you on with us tonight. Welcome, welcome. I hope Daddy's doing good. We've been praying for him. Welcome. Yes, we gave heartfelt cards to each other and made our dad cry. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That means you put some really nice things in those cards. Sometimes those are the best cards that you can have. Yes, sir. Heartfelt cards. That's that's a nice way to go. Hallelujah. So that's good. I hope Stacy got the book she wanted. And um, what a great, great time. You know, Christmas is um, all about being together and sharing and and uh, caring for each other. And, and that's why Jesus came, to share his life with us and uh, to teach us to care and to be kind, all of those all of those wonderful things. So sometimes we wait too long to tell people how much we love them or how much we care about them. So that's really, really nice to do that uh, and surprise someone, yeah, to just let them know how precious they are to you. So very, very good, Addo family, very good. I just miss you kids so much. It's awful. Okay. We gave each other cards, and I got a gold bracelet. All right, Michelle Levine, way to go. Hallelujah. And um, I'm glad your daddy's hanging in there, Michelle. Lots and lots of needs right now for people's lives, and so it's really, really good to pray and to share with each other. Really, really good. So tonight we're going to get... Um, Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad you loved that gift card. And the great thing is you guys will have to share with me when we get back into Jubilee Tabernacle one night. We'll just take a night and share um, all the things that you got with your Amazon gift cards. I was so excited and I was excited to send it in the mail to you. Um, that's the thing that I have missed the very, very most about having to cancel because of COVID was canceling Christmas with all of you kids. So uh, the youth department helped me come up with some things to send out to you. And I was so happy because you got them the week of Christmas and that was exciting. So it's nice to get your mail. You always go to the mailbox and you get mom and dad and there was one for you guys. So that was good. Hi, Tamara. Hi, kids. How are you doing? I cannot believe how your girls are just growing. They are just getting so tall. It's amazing um, just what's happening to them. They are just growing and growing and growing. So, hi, Tracy O'Neill. I love you, too. Love you bunches. Well, tonight, as I was telling everyone, my husband's sneaking in the door again. <laughs> um as I was telling you um, before we uh, got going very long tonight, um, if some of you, I mean, you kids are welcome to hang on too, but once we close out with the kids, um, I told you that I would try to take you through my house, my upstairs, and just show you some of the fun things that I did for Christmas in my house. And um, Sister Lauren was doing a survey on when you put your Christmas stuff away. And so some people already had theirs down. Some was going down after January 1st and on and on. Well, my Christmas stuff, because I do a lot of things with snowmen, so mine stay up until I have to put them all away and spring starts to come. So about the first part of March, um, I'll start taking mine down and I'll start turning my house back into like summer things. But I like to, um, I don't know what to do about that, Jerry, um, because, um, I'm not muffled. Are some of you having trouble with a muffled sound? 
um, I don't know what to do about that. So hopefully I'm not muffled to everybody. But um, anyway, so if you want to hang around at the end, um, I'm going to just walk around and just show you some things that I did. It's not professional. It's just Ellieville. <laughs> it's just things that I like to do. I really, really like to just do a beautiful dining room table. I always dreamed about having a dining room table. So it might be muffled for him because um, we're in the same house and I'm on the same floor. So thank you all for saying I sound good and that I'm fine. And <laughs> that's really kind. Hi, Carol Burl. Welcome tonight. Well, my good friends, Levi and Owen, they were kind enough to um, drop me off a book um, for Christmas. And I am just so happy with this book because um, it's dedicated to me. And it's Levi and Owen's favorite book. And they cared enough to share it with me. So thank you, boys, very, very much. So this book is called The Mitten. Can you see it? And I love all of those animals on there. So we're going to switch gears here to our kids. Um, can you tell me what animals that you see there, guys? Let's see. We have, yep, an owl and a fox and a rabbit. And can you see the mouse anywhere? Yep, there's a mouse there. Uh, I think there's a raccoon there. Oh my goodness, there's a mole, all kinds of animals, huh? And an owl, wow. So I think all of these animals are going to be in this story tonight, I think. Hi, Janet Capella, welcome. So The Mitten, this book, is a Ukrainian folktale adapted and illustrated by Jan Brett. And I'm glad she did that because this is a really, really lovely book. So are you all ready to start? All right. You got your favorite blanket? Okay. Oh, Carol Barkasy. Boys, do you see that? This is one of our favorite stories done in sign language at school for the elementary kids. That's from Carol Barkasy. Isn't that nice? Wow. <laughs> That is beautiful. That's nice. So, Carol, you really know this story, don't you? Yes. So, let's get started. Are you all ready? Once there was a boy named Nicky. He wanted mittens as white as the snow. Here's Nicky. Let's get acquainted with him. He's got a nice red hat on, doesn't he? You can tell that he's like not from America, can't you? Because of the way his coat looks. It's funny how different areas dress different so that we know who they are, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty amazing. If you drop a white mitten in the snow, it will be hard to find, his grandmother told him. But Nikki wanted snow white mittens so much that Baba made them for him. Oh, did you ever want something so much? There's his grandma, and her name is Baba. B A B A. Hi, Dorothea. Welcome to story time. I'm happy you moved in yesterday. I was driving by there last night thinking, I wonder what place Dorothy is going to get. Look at that nice fireplace. Wow. Oh, he just wants white mittens. And Grandma is right. White things do hide in the snow, don't they? In fact, I have to stop to tell you this story. When Sammy was with us, I had um, like these red booties that I would put on him because his feet would get so cold and the snow would get on his fur and make all these little balls. So I got him these, these like um, shoes for a dog. And so I put him out in the snow and he's having a blast with them on. 
Well, when I went to bring him in, he lost one. And we searched and we searched and we searched and it was red. We could not find that boot nowhere. So I had to go buy him new boots and the new boots I bought him were blue. And so I would watch to make sure he didn't lose them in the snow. But you know what happened when spring came? <laughs> you guys are so smart. Yes, the snow melted and there was his red boot. <laughs> <laughs> so even things that have color can get hidden in the snow, can't they? But a white mitten, that's something that can really get hidden. When she finished knitting, Nikki put on the mittens and went out right away to play in the snow. It wasn't long, though, before one of his mittens fell off. So there's grandma. See grandma over there and she's feeding what? What are those? Yep. She's feeding the geese. Yep. And there he is. He's playing. He's climbing a tree. Can you find his mitten? I had to look for that mitten. Oh, I had to look and look at this little picture here. What, what kind of an animal is that? I think we're about to find out. I think so. Levi said, if you look at the mittens, it'll give you a clue of what's going to happen next. I noticed that. I had to look at it twice, Levi, and then I caught on. A little mole. Yes, that was what was in the picture. It crawled inside of the mitten. It was just the right size for that mole, and he decided to stay there. <laughs> look at, look really close. See, see the mole crawling to the mitten under the tree. Can you see it? I'm trying to hold it close. See, for those of you who are having trouble, there he goes. He's headed for that mitten. A rabbit came hopping by. He wiggled and wiggled and wiggled in next to the mole. Now, now there's two of them in the mitten. Look at them. <laughs> See the mole and the bunny? Oh my goodness. I just love bunny rabbits. I like, I like how they just, they're just so cute and they leave the cutest little footprints, don't they, in the snow? Okay, here's our clue of what's coming next. Are you ready? A hedgehog wanted to get warm. Oh, he was so cold. He just... Oh, he just kept shivering, looking for a warm place. The mole and the rabbit made room for him. They just slid on over and said, come on in. <laughs> Look at them all getting into his white mitten. Wow. He may not have been able to see that mitten in the snow, but those animals found it, didn't they? All right, let's look at what is coming. That's not what's coming. That's him playing at the tree. Here we are. What is that? Yes, you are good. It's an owl. The owl didn't want to be left out. So the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog had to move over. The little mitten was getting pretty crowded. <laughs> look at that mitten. Look at look at them all stuck in there. Aren't their little noses cute sticking out? And here comes Mr. Owl. <laughs> and they all made room for Mr. Owl. Oh, there is... What do you think that is peeking out? Oh my goodness, what do you think that might be? 
Let's see. A badger looked out of his house and saw the mitten. He climbed right in. He didn't even ask. He just climbed right in. Look at him coming out of his house. Remember his little nose sticking out from underneath of the tree? And here he comes. Look at that. Aren't they too cute looking out of that mitten? And it just, that mitten just keeps growing and growing and growing, doesn't it? It started to snow. Oh, I love snow. So a fox pushed his way in and made himself right at home. Oh, no. Look at, look at how big that fox is. How in the world is he going to ever fit inside of that mitten? Wow, he's just like, let me in here, guys. Let me in. Yes. Hokey smokes. There's a clue of what's coming next. Ah! It looks like a bear to me. Who oh, no. Then a... We're right. It is. A big bear sniffed at the mitten. The animals were packed in tight. But the bear didn't care. He crawled in anyway. The mitten was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Look at, look how big that bear is. Look. Oh, how in the world is he going to fit in there? Oh my goodness. He's going in. He's climbing in. I bet those animals are like, Ha! Ah, help! What do you think? Oh, and then let's see our clue. What's coming? What's coming? Dale says he only seen a fox once, but I'm waiting to see my fox this year. Because every winter, I will look out after a snowstorm, and I always have seen a red fox walking right up the middle of the road. And everything is snow white, and the light from the street is coming down, and there's that beautiful red fox going by. And every once in a while, I look out and I see some deer coming by. Oh, wintertime is just so much fun. So they're all packed inside of this one mitten. And then a tiny, weeny, little, tiny mouse squeezed in and perched herself on the big bear's nose. There we go. Stop telling the story early, Mavis. There they are all are in the mitten. Look at the brown eyes on the bear. He's like watching that little mouse on his nose, isn't he? Yes, he is. He's watching carefully. Yes, I bet you've seen a lot of deer in your words, woods, Penelope, because you have lots of deer. The mouse's whiskers started to move all around. You know, mice, they have whiskers, and it's moving everywhere. And it tickled the bear's nose. And all of a sudden, the bear couldn't take it no longer. And he started, ah, oh, ah. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 The bear sneezed and all the animals flew out of the mitten. <laughs> wow, look at that. They're flying everywhere, aren't they? Whoa, he sneezed really, really, really hard. Did you ever get a tickle in your nose and it makes you sneeze? I have. This bear, he sneezed so 
hard. He just blew everybody out of the mitten. Nikki saw his mitten sail way up high into the air. Look it. There's Nikki. And here he comes. He's running. Can you see his mitten? There it is. There's his white mitten flying in the air. That's right, Mavis. Boom is right. <laughs> From the window, Baba watched Nikki catch his mitten. See, Baba, he called to her. I have both my mittens. And Baba just smiled. <laughs> but Baba was right, wasn't she? Thank goodness that mouse crawled in there and made that bear sneeze or he wouldn't have been able to find his mitten at all. I think the mitten got enlarged too, but we're we're uh we're showing our age and we're getting a little critical here. <laughs> There's his mitten. He got it back, Levi and Owen. I can see why you guys like this story so so much. And here is Grandma, whose name was Baba, and Jackie was right. Look at how big the mitten is compared to the other one. See it? Can let me just look here so I get it right. Look at here's the size the mitten was, and now look. <laughs> if your mitten got a bear in it, it would definitely get bigger, wouldn't it? Yes, you are right, Jackie. His mitten did get enlarged. Yes. <laughs> Alex said, yes, it did. Levi and Owen, I can see why that is one of your favorite stories. And tonight, we just all want to give a shout out to you for sharing your great, great story with me. That is really, really kind of you. So I hope that you enjoyed story time tonight. It's only 736. So you kids tell me, do you want to see my house decorated for Christmas? Or do you want me to close off with you right now? You tell me what you want to do. Remember um, a couple of weeks ago, we asked everybody who wanted to go caroling. So um, what do you think? Yes, I agree with you, Paulina. Very, very cute story. Very cute. And uh, can you see Levi and Owen that everyone is thanking you? Yes, thank you for sharing. It was a great, great story. I just love reading stories. Just love it. When I was in school, I would stay up all night and just read books. I loved to read books. Okay, Crystal Bell. Um, um, I think you're saying say yes to look at the decorations in my house? Or are you saying, yes, please close so I don't have to stay on here? Which one? Which one do you want to do? Because I don't want to miss our kids saying goodnight to them. It won't take too, too long to do it, but I would love to show you my house. Tamara Smith says yes. Hi, Gloria Jean Harris. How are you? Irma says yes. Janet. All right. I think Penny says thank you, Levi and Owen. Penny loves story time. I can always count on her being here. Yep. And to you too, Sister Mancini. To you too. Okay. All right. All right, well, let's let's go on a journey. You ready to go? All right. And then we will um, either come back down here or we'll find a place upstairs for us all to say our goodbyes. So you're going to have to bear with me because we're going to just take a walk here and start heading upstairs. 
Oh, it's so nice to be with all of you tonight. So I'm going to start turning around and because we're heading on up here. So I'm going to put it on reverse. Okay, so here you go. You So this is good because I'm able to see it as well. So when you come up my stairs, here is my dining room table. And I'm very happy with how it turned out. I'm also happy because my mama was here. So we kind of worked together and I asked her some questions and she gave me suggestions. So this is my dining room table. It's amazing what you can do with just a little, a little imagination. So this is my dining room that I personally think is beautiful. And this is our tree. This is the first year I ever decorated a tree. So it was a little difficult for me, but I did it. I'll show you, you know, there's always some things that's your favorite. So I have two favorite areas in my house, but um, I like everything. But this is like my favorite table. I just love how this table came out with my deer and they're looking up to heaven, just praising God. I love it. And here's my china cabinet. I didn't didn't decorate it, but isn't it pretty with all the lights shining in it? I love it. I love it a lot. And then you heard me talk about my carolers. Uh, let's see. Am I able to bring this in closer? Yep. So this is in my stairway that we just walked up. See, I'll show you. So here is, here's my stairway as we're getting ready to go down. And then here are all of my carolers. I've never put them in my stairway before. Usually I put them um, so that when I'm washing dishes, I can see them singing. But this year I decided to move them to my stairway. And I've had these carolers for a long, long, long time. And I just love them. And they're singing joy to the world. Can you hear them? Yeah. They love to sing Joy to the World because they know it's my favorite song. And I love the St. Bernard. Look at him. The St. Bernard is as big. The little girl is uh, smaller than the St. Bernard. When I was little like that, um, we had friends that had a St. Bernard. And I was down playing and he stepped on my foot and I couldn't get him off of my foot. And they had to come and move him. He weighed a lot. <laughs> I had to get him off. Now you're seeing some presents under the tree. That's because Reverend Kalinsky and I, we haven't had our Christmas yet. So we're waiting to have it. And so we'll take a walk in here to my beautiful, calm living room. I love my living room. I like to come in here in the morning. I like to come in here and think and pray. I love my picture of Mary. There's our mirror. I hope that I'm doing the room justice for all of you. I don't dare, um, I don't dare look down and see what you're writing because I don't want to fall <laughs> down the stairs. And these little guys, these are my carolers, and I've had them about a year after Jerry and I got married. And we've been married over 30 years, so they're really old. Don't you like my snow on the ground? Yeah, I was so excited when I got to see the snow. And here's my beautiful, beautiful grandniece, Gianna. Can you... Can you see Ben and Nicole's Christmas card? It says, oh, what fun. Oh, I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Isn't that adorable? Oh, my goodness, she's so cute. And then let me show you because 
on the back, there's like a whole picture of her dressed up like a hippopotamus. <laughs> Isn't it cute? I just love it. So we got some pictures together of her. Look at her sitting playing the piano. She's going to play the piano just like her mama. I know she is. And here's a calendar that uh, Matt and Marie and the girls gave us for Christmas. And I love this picture of Mary and baby Jesus. I just love it. So we had to put that. And then here's pictures of Theo and Annabelle, Isaac. We went for a walk down in Rhode Island. And these were some pictures that we took while we were there. So we had to put those in the living room, right? Sorry, the lights are getting in here, but you can see it. The lights from my mirror. I actually um, got this, the like the base of it. Um, it was all broken. So they gave it to me. I think I paid like three bucks or something for it. And I came home because I had the base. I like started to put all these things with it. I don't know. I think it came out pretty good. I like it. So here we are. This is my house. And I think you can see this corner. This is, um, this is Sammy. He always has to come and be a part of Christmas with us. So that's his shelf. And these are some of my favorite snow women ballerinas. Aren't they adorable? I just love them. And here's a picture of Gianna. Look, this was Gianna um, around March time. And this is Gianna now. Hasn't she grown a lot? That's her in church. So that is my little area there. And I found this in Tennessee. And I love this tablecloth. It's where we keep our keys and all that stuff before we go out. Yeah. I have to show you this because I like it. I think it's funny. It says on our door... Some of my best friends are flakes. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> I know Reverend Lautenbach likes this. He he has lots of flakes, doesn't he, that he likes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought that that was funny. This here is uh, my special cabinet of different things that I love from Canada and different places. And this blue, blue one in here, um, that came from my wonderful Aunt Blanche. And she picked that out especially for me, that cup and saucer. So this, this has a lot of um, special, special little things in it. So this is uh, the stairway going upstairs. This is the back side of it. And here's my friend, Mr. Snowman, welcoming all of us. I love him very, very much. He's so cute. These are my acorns. Aren't they pretty? I really like them. So this is going upstairs and this is my angel from Mrs. Perkins and she's gone home to be with Jesus. But um, I know she's holding me in her heart, just like this angel shows in all of her family and her friends. So this, this angel is a treasure to me. So this year we brought it right out where we were able to see it. And so another area that is my favorite is this area. And it's right in my dining room where I can see it. And it is the nativity and it has Mary and Joseph, and the angel. It's got the wise men. I just love this. The donkey, and see the baby donkey? The baby donkey is there with the mama. And then down here, we have the shepherd. I just love the shepherd. He, he just reminds me of David in the Bible. And here's all the sheep that are going to come to visit Jesus. They're just waiting their turn to visit Jesus. And 
Here's the star. Oh, the star that shines. So the wise men knew where to go. And the star that shined over Bethlehem. Oh, I just, I just love it. This is my favorite. I'm just going to turn the camera so that I can show it to you a little differently. It's hard to, oh, it's telling me to go back. It didn't like that. All right, so I'll just back up. How's that? There you go. All right, and then this here is between my dining room and my kitchen. And this is our reading chatting area. So I'm going to see, oh, there, that's better. So it has a table and I have two chairs. I found those blankets at, at home and man, I got the best deal on them. I would have never bought them at their regular price, but what a good price. Aren't they cute? And this is a new addition to our home this year. We went out and we found this. And we just love this. And come on, little girl. There you go. This is my owl. And we don't know why, but we think that this owl looks like Sister Jasmine. So we sent her a picture of it. Isn't this owl just the cutest? Yeah. And so we started missing our puppy, as you all know. And so at the tag sale, I found Molly. Hi, Molly. And Molly is all dressed up for Christmas. Doesn't she look just so cute? Yeah, look at she's got she's got her cute little dress on. There we go. Look at her nice little dress. Ah, Molly is all dressed up for Christmas. So Molly is our dog that I never have to take out. And then we love this. This smells so good. It has berries all in it. And this is my centerpiece, and I actually made this a few years ago because that's a cheap way to go. And doesn't my lace underneath of it look like it's snow? I just love that. So this is my kitchen where I cook and spend most of my time. Oh, I'll show you my, my towels on my stove. I love them. And then this is over my sink where I cook and it has all of my snowmen that Jerry has bought me and I had to get rid of some this is this is one of my favorite snowmen because he reminds me of Reverend Kalinsky I don't know why he just does and so I laugh every time I see him here's my penguins they came out you see them playing in the snow they're having a blast and here's my snowman that represents those who work so hard for us the men in the service and firemen police officers so they're right in the center this is where i stand when i do dishes right here and these guys are out and they are just having fun skating and sliding and this little guy, he fell over. He fell down. Now this snowman, my mother bought me. And he is bringing the flag to the North Pole. And it is really, really cold there. So you can see he's all bundled up. He's my cute little snowman. And then here's Jerry and I. And we're just out skating, having a nice night out. Now, if you're looking past this, you're seeing the lights that we have on our fence. And Reverend Kalinske put lights on our tree out there. So we're all lit up and you can see the reflection of the tree in the background. So I think it's pretty. I could turn lights on, but then it's not as pretty. Someone blessed me with these flowers and I put them right on my counter so that I could always see them. I love red and white. So this here is our kitchen table where we eat all the time. And I'm just going to probably flip you out, but I'm going to turn a light on here so that you can see it better. And I love my plates. They are red ovens. I got these plates from the Cracker Barrel. 
on friend and family day. And then this is my window. That is by where we eat that looks out into our backyard. And I love these little guys. These are my little birds. See their little hats on and they're all playing outside. And here's my instrument players. And they're just playing songs here, rejoicing because it is Christmas. There they are. There's my little guys. One did a flop. Aren't they cute? Yeah, I love them. I got those in Tennessee. And then we'll walk down through here. Oh, and here, remember I told you about my window of fame? There it is. Ah, oh, it just makes me feel so good when I look at my window with everybody's pictures and cards. And we got too many to um, keep filling the window. So we have some more over here on the goodie table. Yeah. So this is this is where the cookies and everything is and my Instapot and slow cooker, you know, all those things that you need to have. So this is my sitting area where I like to sit. And so this is my window and I'm going to turn I'll show you what it looks like with the lights all off cuz it's just so pretty, I think. So I like to sit in here with the lights off, but I'm going to turn the light on so you can see. You see me walk by my exercise equipment. It's in here too. <laughs> and so this is the window in the light. And we have some pictures. I love this one of Gianna. Look at her. <laughs> she's just she's just a happy, happy little girl. Um, the Wessons made those for me um, when we had a snowstorm and they all went to Marie's house. And so Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus are here. That's Jerry and that's me, all dressed up in yellow. I just love it. I love this um, man and woman snow people. Aren't they adorable? Yeah, and I love these carolers. Yep, they're singing Jerry's favorite Christmas song. They're singing Noel. <laughs> and I love this snowman. He's one of my favorites. He always has to come out always yeah so this is this is my window i love it and then i got these blankets and i love them you know why yep you guessed it because they have dogs on them and they're all dressed up for christmas aren't they cute look at this little guy he's like leave me alone i just want to be left alone yep so this is my sitting area and when i sit and i'm thinking here are the wise men coming to Bethlehem and this was just a little tiny manger scene that we had and it says and she shall bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name Jesus for he shall save his people from their sins Matthew 121 isn't that beautiful yeah I love it I like the tablecloth too isn't it pretty it's it's like uh bethlehem i love it the sheep and the shepherds yeah so anyway this is my house decorated for christmas and i just love it i my husband loves it we're just happy to to come here and sit and enjoy our time together so these are our talking chairs, so when we're making the decisions for the day or just want to sit down and have something to drink and chat for a minute, this is, this is where we go. And this is the beautiful view that we have while we sit at our talking chair area. It's good to have a talking chair area, isn't it? And um, I love my mantle. I just think it's so pretty with the stars. And it's just... So this this is my home at Christmas. So I just love it. Hi, Artie. Nice to have you join us tonight. I guess I'm back on, aren't I? And I got all kinds of light in my glasses everywhere. 
but if I'm going to be able to um, see what you guys are writing, I'm going to have to move because the light is just amazing. Now here, let me just turn this back. Here is one of my favorite chairs to sit at in the mornings because you might have trouble seeing, but I sit here in the morning and I like to rock and you can't see it very good, but that's the outdoors and I can watch the cars going right now. You're just getting a lot of reflection from my house. So let me just open up the door so you can see outside. And there's the outside of my house and it's beautiful. So when I'm standing at my window, right out there where you see that light out near the road, that's where I will see the fox walking right down the road in the middle of a snowstorm. It's just beautiful. So it's nice. So this is the home that God has blessed us with and we just love, love living in our home. So it's been nice to meet with all of you tonight and share with you and just um, let you be a part of our home and I'm sure your home looks good too. But after all of this work, I can tell you right now, my home is not going to get taken down for a while. <laughs> it's going to hang in here for a while longer. So, oh, let me get a Kleenex because I've got to make sure that I give all of you a hug good night tonight. So thanks for hanging out and being a part of sharing with me our home that I love to decorate for Jerry and he likes it too. He's always happy with my decorating. So it's nice to, to bless others, isn't it? Yeah. So here we are. All right. Thank you for being a part tonight. Thank you for joining us. And I have such fine hair that if I don't have a dark background, it all shows. Thank you for um, sharing with us tonight. It was great having all of you on. Hey, Krista Ackerman. Hi, I guess I had to do something to see that you were watching. You guys need to come on and say hi to me. I'm so happy that you came on. It's a pleasure to uh, share my home with all of you. And um, just, um, it's not professional, but it's just some things that, that we like to do here. So um, maybe you'll want to come on and share some of yours. Hey, Rios, how you doing there in Florida? <laughs> I guess we're, we're about to get some rain and ice and all that stuff. So, oh, stop bragging, saying, oh, maybe, are you talking about my home or absolutely beautiful in Florida? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, so anyway. You are most welcome, Dorothea, and I'm so happy that you're uh, getting moved into your new home. Um, I think I hit the button and you're looking at a towel. Yep, sorry about that. I hit the wrong button. You're looking. Hey, Virginia Fletcher, Merry Christmas. Oh, how nice to have you visiting with us tonight. Wow, hi, Yolanda. Nice, nice to see all of you. Yes, I did flip the phone. Sorry about that. <laughs> you were you were looking at my Christmas towel. You just couldn't see it. <laughs> now now you can see me. Your your responses are like all delayed. I fixed it. So now if I can see me, you guys are able to see me now. I was flipping up and I hit the reverse button by mistake. So um, oh, okay, I thought you were bragging about your weather in Florida, Liz. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Florida is beautiful. But you know what? The cold here, it was really beautiful when I was outside today. It was really beautiful. So anyway, anybody got some more Christmases um, that you're still waiting to get to? Um, we have one more and then Jerry and I will have a special day that we'll spend together. And uh, so I'm looking forward to that. But um, Christmas is fun, isn't it? It's um, just, 
it's just wonderful, first of all, to share with people. So um, anyway, it's really, really nice. So if you're wondering, my decorations are going to stay up a while longer and that'll be fine. Hi, Rachel. How are you, sweetheart? Miss you. Miss you. I know. Oh, you haven't seen some of your family due to COVID. Well, like I told um, my granddaughter, it may not happen on the day that it always does if something does come up, but no matter what happens, we're still going to have Christmas at some point. So everyone do the same, okay? Even if you have to wait till July to have Christmas. My sister was um, born on Christmas Day, so she always wanted like a swimming summer party. So one year we pulled out all the Christmas decorations and we decorated everything for Christmas. There were Christmas lights outside. I mean, we just went overkill and we gave her a birthday in July and she absolutely, absolutely loved it. And um, so it was beautiful. So anyway, I hope you get to spend some time with your grandkids too, Wendy. I do. Well, tonight we're going to get ready to sign off because it's 8 o'clock and some of you have to be in bed for your bedtime. So let's get ready to give our good night hugs to everybody. Remember, you got to put them all into your hands. We got a long way to reach. Peru, um, Florida, they've all been on tonight. So grab them all in your hands and put them in your heart. Get them in there. And then let's get our hands up so they can't fall out <laughs> like, like that glove tonight, okay? We got to make sure we got them in there. I'm going to count to three. And we are going to hug like we never hugged before. We got we to gotta reach Sister Virginia too. Yes, we do. We got to reach them. So are you ready? What What is this? I thought I had decorations. You beat me. Only put up a little just getting over COVID. Well, I'm glad you're getting over it, Sister Virginia, and not in it. So hallelujah for that. God is good and faithful. Hallelujah. Okay, you ready? I'm going to count to three. Big, big, big hugs. Penelope, you ready to hug Alex? Come on. We, we've we got to make these hugs count tonight. Nate, you got your hugging arms ready? Okay. One, two, three. Oh, I love you, love you, love you, love you. Oh, oh I just love giving you hugs. I don't know what it is, but after I give you a hug, I just feel like you really hugged me too. And I just love that feeling. So it's nice to give you a hug tonight. Don't forget when you go to bed, make sure that you hug Jesus. Oh, just hug him so close. Make sure you talk to him, tell him how much you love him, um, what he means to you. Okay. And if you got something concerning you, make sure that you talk to him about it, okay? Because he will help you. I'm smiling too, Nate. I love you. Did my hug reach you? <laughs> I bet it did. I hugged really, really hard. I did. I hugged really hard. Well, it's time to say goodnight. Know this. I love you. To the moon all the way to Jupiter and Mars, <sighs> through the Milky Way, and right back to my heart. Just love all of you so much. You have a wonderful night. May God richly, richly bless you, give you sweet, sweetest of dreams, Get up in the morning, have fun, because you don't have to go to school tomorrow. Yay! For that, you're on vacation. So God bless you. Love you all so much. Have a wonderful rest of the week, okay? Tomorrow's hump day, so enjoy it. Love you so much. God bless you all. Bye-bye.